Good morning, modern steaders. We're up here at the off grid property today. If you guys are just tuning into the video series now, we are working on a shipping container that we're turning into a cabin in the woods up here at our, at our off grid property. Can't talk this morning. And I welded up the frames yesterday for the windows at the house, and this morning we're gonna install them and get them welded up. We have quite the truckload of tools and stuff this morning. Nothing living in there. like a picture in a window. Glad the generator's on wheels. So they've been working on clearing the second pond up here. We haven't been up here for a couple of days, so we're itching to see what the pond looks like when we get done welding in our window frames. That's going to be a good spot. I'm hoping that the window frames fit without us having to do any trimming, but you just never know how that's going to work out. Cool. Not bad at all. 
see how much gas we have first. Oh yeah, plenty of fuel. Well, they're not the prettiest welds, but it got the job done. Now we can get the second window clamped up and welded in position. They started right here. They're pretty ugly. But by the time I got over here, they're looking nicer. That's why they make silicone and caulking. We're gonna go around and we're gonna caulk all this afterwards. We don't need to weld it the whole way. We're just welding it in place so it'll stay and then we'll seal it up good with some silicone or some really good caulking after. One down so far. One down? Yep, one, one more down. to go. How was it? It wasn't bad. I can't, I can't. Slow going. I can't walk. I have to be waiting in suspense. You don't want to go blind? No. All right, remind me I gotta check the window for square. Before I leave it here.
to be off like an eight. Adjust those clamps, and then I can stop welding. We ran out of gas. So <laughs> being done, we have two more little welds we need to weld. All right, get a little bit of gas and we'll get the generator fired back up. We're not gonna need much. welds are all done. They're not the prettiest, but they're a lot better than when I started on that window. They're nice and they've stiffened it all back up and that wall's nice and solid again. We gotta go and we're gonna caulk all around here, so that's why we didn't weld all the way around. And I'm pretty sure there is a brand of caulking or silicone that we can be using in this cooler weather. So that'll be good because I wanna seal in these boards when we go to install the windows tomorrow. So I'll take a ride to the hardware store today check that out but I don't know about you but I'm getting excited to head up above and go check out what they did to the pond and see what else has been going on I'm excited yeah I'm waiting 
I've been waiting two days to go check it out. So let's get this closed up and let's head on up the road. One of the reasons why I liked using the angle iron, we did two inch angle iron and this way it works as a drip edge up high and it's welded up there. So if we get rain sitting up there, it's not gonna get up and inside because it's got two inches sticking on the inside. So it'll work really good for a drip edge. And then also, if you don't cut the opening perfectly straight and square, you have a two inch gap of your angle iron lip to hide some of it and to weld it, where if you do the two inch square, everything's gonna be perfectly straight. So I just felt like this was easier and it should make it a little more watertight. I'm not saying that's the only way of doing it, it's just the way that worked for me. Let's get up above and see what the pond looks like. I can't wait to see I'm it. Waiting. I've been waiting the last couple of days to see it. Yep. Whoa, look at that. Oh my oh, goodness. It's a little pond. Boy, does that look different. Before you couldn't even see that pond, but Except you can only see a four foot wide path through a small patch of evergreens. Look at that. Does that look the same? No, when we drove up I thought it was just a landing. <laughs> yeah, don't go off, just walk around. Yeah. And it's actually nice, you can get right up to the edge. Get this all grassed in. Make a nice little... It's so different. It'll make a nice little ice skating rink someday. Wow, look at that. It would be easier to get in a, in a kayak. Here it would. Wonder how deep it is off the check come springtime. I have a little overflow right here and I thought maybe this fed the pond, but it doesn't. This runs off down that way. So that must be all spring fed. That's really good to know. It's nice to have a couple of spring fed ponds on the property. I still can't get over how different this looks. I can't wait till we can get it grassed in. All right, let's walk up here and see what else they've done. So over here, they're working on clearing a little bit more. Look at that, it looks like almost ledge pack right here. Yeah, that blue is like ledge pack material. Oh, yeah, Smells like that. Christmas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So I was told they put a bridge in over here for us so we can get the mule and a vehicle across sometime. Did you drive your car across? Yeah, yeah, it's wide enough for a vehicle. There it is. Look at it. So the road keeps going this way and then that's a logging trail. Yeah. Got some mink tracks right here. It's like a misty rain out. What do you ladies think? Did you lay us any eggs? What do you think? I don't think so. You don't think so? We've been getting like one a month lately, so. Oh, look at that! We got one! 
One, two and three days. We're getting spoiled. Yeah, we are. <laughs> What do you say, little P? You pregnant? How many goats you carrying? Two? Four. Tanner, come on. Let's go feed on the eggs, Tanner. See you later. The rooster's out today. What are you doing, mister? <laughs> wow. You don't like Pluto, I guess. Five eggs would be nice. Yeah. Let's see. I see two. Oh, I see one right there. I see two. That's four. Two. Another two. All right, so four, five total today. Yeah. I'll take it. Me too. Whoops. A little bit too much. Salt our chicken. We got some avocado oil on her. And then we're gonna put our special herb mix that we always mix up. Oh, that looks so good. I got the chicken in the oven roasting and it smells amazing. I'm just going to take this frozen broccoli, put some avocado oil, some salt, and some garlic powder, mix that all up. on this pan that's for sure they have plenty of room to have their own space each broccoli for it dear lord thank you for a wonderful day well it feels good to have the window frames all welded in the welds didn't start off the prettiest but they're came out pretty good towards the end but by the time we get that all cleaned up and then sealed up around the edges you won't see any of it and my hope is by the end of this project my welding will be a lot better all of the progress up at the off-grid property has got us uh, so excited can't wait to see what it looks like when they're done logging and come this spring we can start spreading some seed and getting some of those areas to grass back in and turn them into pasture. Oh, so exciting. Thanks for coming along on our homesteading journey. You guys are a huge blessing to us in our homestead. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. It really helps. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button while you're down there. Turn on notifications and we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres.